prana is life, sunlight is life. I am wishing you all happiness, clarity, and freedom on this morning. What I want to tell you on this morning is that we must not forget in this life that we never know what is around the corner. Guys, many blessings, unexpected blessings, unexpected abundance, unexpected gifts could be on your way. In fact, they are on your on their way into your life. We have to understand that we never know what's going to come. We could receive an unexpected blessing tomorrow. We could receive an unexpected gift of abundance in the next hour. We never know. So we must always be open, always be accepting, always have an open mind in life. Never get too rigid and realize that anything is possible. Anything, absolutely anything is possible in your life. Okay, and that brings me into the topic of today's video, which is if nothing seems to be going your way, if nothing seems to be going your way in this life, you always end up with bad fortune. Things always end up messing up in your life. You, things never go your way, right? If you feel this way, I'm here to give you this message. I am here to send the message to you, okay? The first thing we must remember, if we feel like things are never going our way, if we feel like things are never going our way, why are things not going our way? Because we have expectations. If we let go of the expectations of how things are supposed to go in our life or how we want things to go in our life, okay, if we let all of this go, everything is perfect. We don't have to change anything. We realize that we don't have to change anything. It's only when we have these rigid expectations in life. We have these hopes, these strong, rigid hopes. Things have to go this way. I really want things to go this way. We have these attachments to certain things in our life, right? We have these attachments. We hold on to these attachments. And when life says, no, I'm not gonna give you this thing, or no, I'm gonna do this thing instead of this thing that you want, Right When things don't go our way, we end up disappointed. We always end up disappointed. We always end up feeling like crap. We always end up feeling like we don't have enough. We end up feeling in a state of lack rather than a state of abundance. But when we let go of all of the expectations, let go of the expectations in your life. Things don't have to go a certain way. Things don't always have to be a certain way. Be open, like I said in the beginning, be open to anything, be open to anything in this life. Let it go, let all of it go and you'll realize, you will understand that this is the way it's supposed to be. We can't hold on to a certain thing in the future or hold on to our past. We have to live in the present moment and that's another way, another thing to remember. If we're feeling like nothing is going our way in this life, nothing is going our way, where we're always messing up and things always seem crappy in life. If you feel this way, I encourage you to enter the present moment. Enter the present moment. Focus your attention, focus your energy on the present moment. Catch yourself when you are slipping into the future or when you are slipping into the past. Catch yourself and say, no, mind, no, I am not going to let you worry about the future or worry about the past or ruminate over something. Say, no, no, I am not going to let you think about that thing. And then revert your focus back to the present moment. You see, it's all about having a strong mind. Having a strong mind. If your mind isn't strong, if your mind isn't focused, we are going to slip into these states. We're going to slip into a state of unease, dis-ease. We're going to slip into thinking about the future. We're going to slip into worrying about the past. We're going to slip into the state of lack if we are not focused. Because in this society, in this world, guys, it's not easy out here, okay? It's not easy out here. 
we will slip into the state of dis-ease. We will slip into the state of unease. But not if you are focused, not if you know thyself, not if you are in nature, not if you are in tune with the present moment. If you can keep a focused mind, if you can keep a laser sharp mind focused on love, focused on the present moment, focused on your body, focused on your breath, focused on life, focused on all of the abundance that is around you at all times, if we focus on these things, we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about thinking about the future or the past. We don't have to worry about things not going our way because everything will go your way when you focus on now, when you focus on the present moment, when you focus on your mind, when you keep your mind strong, when you keep your mind laser focused on what you want in life, when you keep your mind laser focused on love, abundance, clarity, happiness, clarity, and freedom. Keep your mind focused on these things. Do your best. Understand that we are doing our best as human beings. We are just human beings. Okay, something I've really been thinking about is that we're human beings. We have human desires. We have human urges. We have human tendencies. Okay, our mind likes to go places. Our mind likes to do things. But we can let it go. We can let go of trying to change these things or trying to control these things or trying to make it all a certain way. No, understand that we are humans and accept that we are humans and love yourself as a human being. Love your mind, love your body, love your soul, love everything about this life, love everything about nature, love everything about the way that your body and mind works because it is what it is. We're in these human bodies, we have these minds. We can use them for good. We don't have to get caught up in them and let it drag us down. We can use them for good. We can understand that we are always doing our best as human beings. We are always doing our best. And if things always seem to be not going your way in life, remind yourself of that. You're always doing your best. You are always trying your hardest even when you don't realize it, okay? We are always trying our hardest even when we don't realize it. This is something we always must remember. And we gotta let go of the guilt. We gotta let go of thinking that we could be doing better, thinking that we should be doing more or we should be doing things differently, okay? When things don't go our way, sometimes we like to get down on ourselves and think that we could be doing better or think that we should be doing things a certain way or think that we should be doing things a different way. And then we get sad, we get confused, we get caught up in things, but we don't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. We can understand that everything that happens in this life is meant to happen. Everything that happens is part of your divine story. If things don't seem to be going your way, understand this. Understand that everything that happens, every event that happens in your life, okay, every person that shows up in your life, every circumstance that shows up in your life, everything is part of the divine plan. Everything is part of the divine story. And it's about coming to terms with this, coming to terms that we are part of something bigger, we are part of a divine plan, a divine story. A story, this is what we're living, it's a story. We are living a story. And it's not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to be always going our way according to our human expectations in our mind. No, this is what we must come to terms with. That this story is this story and it's beautiful just the way that it is. Just the way that it is just the way that you are. Okay, you are beautiful just the way that you are. We don't have to change things. We don't have to control things. That's what it's about. It's about letting go of the control. See, when we understand that our life, that this experience is literally part of something bigger, it's a story, it's written, we let go of the control, we let go of the reins. When our minds get in the way, we try to control things. We try to control the amount of money we're making. Okay, I'm realizing these things a lot of times are literally not up to us. The circumstances in our life 
a lot of times aren't up to us, especially the things that are outside of us. Okay, the things that are outside of us, it's not up to us. A lot of times our circumstance isn't up to us, but how we view the circumstance, how we view the things that are in our life, the things that we are experiencing, the things that we are seeing, okay, how we view these things is 100% in our control. That is the number one thing that we must focus on if things don't seem to be going our way, if things don't seem to be going your way in this life, all you have to do is focus on the energy. Focus on the within. Focus your energy. Focus your attention on how you are viewing the things in your life. Focus your energy and attention on your perception. Your perception of your reality is your reality. This is what I'm realizing, okay? The things outside of us are not up to us. What happens outside of us is not up to us. The money flow, a lot of times, isn't up to us. You see, you can choose to be grateful for however amount of money is coming into your life, however amount of abundance is coming into your life. If you have 20 subscribers on YouTube, you have a YouTube channel, say you have 20 subscribers, you can have immense gratitude for those 20 subscribers. And you can be happier than someone with 20 million subscribers. Literally, your perception is everything. And it's this process of letting go of the reins. Letting go of the reins. Let them go. Okay, let go of the control. And this is a very scary thing to do. But if things don't seem to be going your way, it's because we are holding on to these reins, holding on to these expectations, holding on to this control, this control mindset. We don't have to live life this way. Life is supposed to be happy, and you can base your happiness off of what you have, gratitude, this present moment, and it's all in your mind. You see, our mind slips, our mind goes and worries and ruminates over money, over the future, over little things, okay, that seem very big, but they're really little things, okay? What's really big is that you have your body, you have your health. You, health is the greatest wealth, guys. Health is the greatest wealth. This is what matters. This is the truth. This is all that matters. And we can choose to focus on life, focus on our mind, focus on our body and soul, focus on health, wealth, and abundance. Health, wealth, and abundance. The mindset, focus on the energy first and then things will seem to be going your way in life. If things aren't seeming to go your way, if things don't seem to be going your way in your life, change your perception. Change your perception. This is probably the biggest part of this video. This is probably the biggest thing that if I could say, you, you should take this away from this video. Take this one thing away from this video. It's this. Direct your energy and attention and focus within on your internal feelings, on the present moment, on your energy, on how you are feeling right now, rather than trying to change what's out there, trying to control what's out there. See guys, I catch myself sometimes worrying about money. It's been a big thing on my mind, okay? And it's normal, you know, in this society, in this world where we're at right now, it's normal to worry about money. You see, we have to pay to live and eat and there's expenses and there's costs and it's easy to worry about these things. And it's hard to let go of these things. But this is what we need to do. We need to let go of these things. And it's incredibly scary. It is incredibly scary. It's incredibly uncomfortable for our human minds to let go of these things. You know, it's, it's hard. You know, sometimes I catch myself trying to make a plan, trying to plan out how everything is gonna go. You see, that's why I started this video saying, we, we can't always have that plan. We gotta be open to unexpected blessings coming to us, unexpected things coming to us, and trust, and connect to your intuition, and trust that things are going to come to you, the money is going to come to you, the abundance is going to come to you. Everything that you could ever possibly wish for or need is going to come to you. All you have to do 
is focus on your energy, is focus on this life, is focus on right now rather than the future, rather than trying to make a plan. See, if things aren't going your way in this life, it's because we are getting in our own way. We are trying to control the things in our life. We are trying to make a plan. We are trying to make things go a certain way. All my Virgos out there, you know how this goes. You know how this goes, living in perfection, analyzing the details, worrying, okay? We can let this go. I'm here to tell you that your life is perfect. I'm here to tell you that you are amazing. You are doing better than you think. You are amazing, gifted, talented, and abundance is flowing your way. Abundance, magic, everything you could ever possibly need is flowing your way. You just have to trust. You just have to believe in it. Trust and believe in it, okay? Thank you all for tuning in to this message. I hope you resonated with this message. I hope you found it useful in your life. I want you all to go and like this video right now. I want you to subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below a positive comment, whatever you want, just make sure it's positive. And I also want you all to check out my crystal shop, Freedom of Vibes Crystals. We have a 20% off sale going on until January 9th. New Year sale, guys, check it out. You don't wanna miss it. I have amazing things up there. We got amethyst towers, beautiful amethyst towers. We have sage, sage. Yes, I have sage on my crystal shop now with rose petals. Check it out. I have fluorite towers. I have money agate. Okay, I have so many wonderful crystals. Go check it out. I want you to go in the description, check out the Patreon as well. You can join that if you feel called to. And I also want to say with the Patreon, big things are coming with the Patreon. I'm going to be putting more focus and energy into the Patreon, creating more tiers for you guys, creating more offerings for you guys, like live streams I'm gonna start doing if I get enough you know, patrons for doing live streams. I'm gonna start doing that. Behind the scenes content is already happening. So if you want some behind the scenes content, you can go and join the Patreon, check that out. But much behind the scenes content is going to come because I realize I love filming that kind of content, like vlog style content, Things like that, I know you guys love it, and I love filming those things too. So more of that to come, but obviously, we're still gonna be posting on Freedom Speaks, because this is what I love to do. So thank you all for being here. Also, you can donate to me down below if you feel called to. Thank you all so much. Much love, abundance, gratitude in your life. It's coming your way. Believe in it, trust in it, and know in it. If things don't seem to be going your way, understand, that your life is perfect, your life is a gift. This moment is all you need. Attach to this moment rather than attaching to an outcome, rather than attaching to the future, rather than attaching to something that is outside of you. Attach to this moment, attach to this life. And then everything is going to start going your way. I promise you. Thank you for tuning in. Much love, much abundance to you. Have a beautiful day. And I want you to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.